everyone welcome back we've got huge news for all the volvo fans this vehicle will be the ex90 that's Volvo new flagship electric SUV vehicle that's coming on November the 9th. This is actually extremely exciting. This is a range topping Volvo EV to get innovative safety tech and to use the all new SPA2 platform that's by Volvo. Now this is actually quite exciting. We've seen images, renders of this vehicle, leaks I would say. But now we're finally getting some idea of when we can get a full depiction of what this car will look like. And it will be all electric, fully electric. And this is Volvo's big electric SUV. Now the previous version of this car was the petrol version, which was called the XC90. I think that's quite interesting naming, but I can see why they don't want to make it overly complicated. And they probably want to stick with something that's similar to the previous name. Now the EX90 will also play a fundamental role in Volvo's goal to sell 600,000 pure electric cars annually by 2025 as the brand pushes towards becoming a fully electric car maker by 2030. Now it's interesting to note that Volvo has been working on this vehicle for quite some time. I've actually made videos about this vehicle before but now for the first time we're getting an idea of what it could look like and possibly a little bit more information on what Volvo plans to put inside this vehicle in terms of technology. Now they actually released a bold concept recharge that was shown in 2021 the new arrival will provide Volvo with a long-awaited entry into the increasing popularity of full-size SUV segments, in which most premium-oriented manufacturers have launched their debut EVs in recent years. Now, Volvo's existing pure EVs, the XC40 Recharge and the Coupeback Volvo C40 Recharge, sits a segment lower and it uses the same CMA platform as the conventional fuel SC40. Some of the concepts more outlandish and futuristic cues will be toned down for the EX90 production. Now most of the functions that will be controlled through the large format sensual touchscreen using operating system developed by Google as that was first adopted by the XC40 Recharge and the Polestar 2. I'm guessing that these vehicles will also have Apple CarPlay as an additional option, of course. Now, in terms of renders, this is what we could be looking at. It actually looks quite good. I like the front, looks quite simplistic. And obviously, most manufacturers are going with this look of just something really simplistic, no grills because it's kind of unnecessary. Although there's actually lower grills. There's not higher grills, but there are lower grills. But we will get an official unveil of this vehicle on November the 9th this year. Quite exciting. Now the large electric SUV that is due on sale in 2023 when it faced competition from the Tesla Model X and that's for sure the BMW iX and the Kia EV9. Now so far the most popular detail that we know about this car is the name itself, the EX90. Now the EX90 will be featuring with uh, LiDAR technology which standards the light detection and ranging. And interestingly as well, as well as an array of five radars, eight cameras and 16 ultrasonic sensors like parking sensors, this car is coming fully packed. I like that this car will have eight cameras. That's actually really nice because I think that the most important thing when I'm thinking about buying a car right now in this day and age is to have cameras on the car. I want to see what people are doing to my car. I've had my personal car that's been keyed and it was quite annoying. Now, if I have a car like a Tesla, then Sentry Mode would have picked that up. So I want to see Volvo vehicles and Polestar vehicles getting a lot of cameras because I want to know who's messing up my car when I leave it alone. And I'm sure you do as well. You want to protect your property, especially when you're spending like 40, 50, 60 grand on these cars. Now, Volvo's made some big announcement that they plan to put great technology into these cars to utilize the functionality to make these cars more safer to be on the open road. And of course they want to do that because you we've seen how good Tesla vehicles are becoming in terms of their AI self-driving technology and their uh, radar technology. And obviously they use cameras. Tesla cars are not even using sensors anymore. They're using only cameras. Now it's interesting that it looks like the Volvo vehicles will be using a combination of cameras and LiDAR sensors. Now in the future, I don't know if this will change, but we will see. Volvo says as its LiDAR can pick up a tire line and on the road to 120 meters ahead of the car or even spot pedestrians up to 250 meters down the road. In fact, Volvo claims that with LiDAR, accidents with severe outcomes can be reduced up to 20% with overall crash avoidance improved by 9%. That's quite modest. It doesn't sound completely stupid or unrealistic. This LiDAR technology combined with other sensors and cameras around the car, 
allow for other safety system like pedestrian detection and lane keep assistance plus convenience features such as surround view when parking and semi-autonomous adaptive cruise control. There is nothing about full self-driving technology here. But there is semi-autonomous adaptive cruise control which means that it will probably provide you with lane assist and stuff like that. So slowly but surely, Volvo and other companies like Polestar are slowly edging into self-driving technology, which is where they absolutely need to be. Like that's, that's without a question. One day, there will be self-driving cars on the road and you don't want to sell an EV that doesn't have a self-driving feature in 20 to 15 years. It's just going to look a little bit out of place. It's going to give companies like Tesla a huge advantage and Neo as well. Neo has their own self-driving assistance. Neo has the Neo Pilot, I believe. So other companies, they really need to get their stuff together. Now, every Polestar 3 will come with 111 kilowatts per hour battery for a maximum range of 380 miles. Now, that's absolutely amazing because it's actually being built on the same platform as the EX90. That's the SPA2 platform as the Polestar 3 SUV and the EX90. Now, obviously, it's because uh, Polestar is a Volvo company. That's why their cars, they look so similar, but I'm okay with that. I actually really like it. Now, the amazing thing is that with the Polestar 3, with a plus dual moto setup for all-wheel drive, you can actually get around 500 brake horsepower and a maximum charge of up to 250 kilowatts per hour. That's also been floated, which could mean a 10 to 80% charge in 30 minutes, if it's true. That's if it's true. But how incredible would that be? So yes, this new SUV, all electric SUV, plans to arrive in Q4 of 2022, November. It's looking good. I'm feeling quite excited. And with the announcements that Volvo has made today on the 21st of September, it just confirms a lot of things that we were already thinking. Volvo is bringing this car packed with tons of technology, tons of safety features, and it's fully electric. Just what we like. Now, when all of these announcements were coming down, the Volvo CEO actually wrote on LinkedIn that a new era for Volvo vehicles start on September 21st, when we begin to count down towards the launch of the new fully electric flagship SUV. This is Volvo's next big vehicle. Obviously, people love Volvo SUVs, and this one is going to be extremely popular. One, because it's fully electric, but all the safety features that are being brought over to this vehicle will have a huge impact on the market. So ladies and gents, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. And of course, I will see you in our next video.